Is there such a thing as too much power? Well, I guess if you're king, no. <laughs> this question comes from Patrick in Montreal, Canada. Hi, Paul. I'm an audiophile newbie. Welcome, sir. And I have subscribed to PS Audio's channel on YouTube. Love your videos. Why, thank you, Patrick. Thank you for taking the time to do them. They're very informative. Is there, is there such a thing as too much power? I see many hi-fi systems out there with more power than the speaker's recommended wattage. Is it better to exceed the max recommended wattage to obtain better control and maximize the speaker's potential, or is it better to stay within the recommended range? I guess that's the end of his question. I'm always a fan of more is better. If we're having company over for dinner, I like to cook more than is really needed. Uh, I just, you know, maybe it was my Jewish mother. I, I don't know. I don't know why, but I, <laughs> I like more. And I'll tell you why. We, we've talked about headroom over the past few days. We've talked about amplifier power and linearity. And I think the important thing to remember is what are your goals? Always ask that question. What are you trying to achieve? I mean, look, look at this system. Now, th this, is, this is our sales area up here, our lounge. And in the lounge, we've got, I don't know what these things are. We've got speakers. I don't know what they are. They come and go. Yeah, cheesy looking little speakers, whatever they are. A lot of times, you know, when you trade stuff in, um, and we've talked about this before, we give you full retail for your trade. Like these speakers were traded in. Somebody traded these speakers in. Most of them go over to the music room and they get cleaned up and photographed and sold and given good homes. And sometimes uh, the guys look at it and go, hey, I'd like to hear those speakers. So they wind up here. And that's a real good home. And they'll stay, and if they like it, they stay, And because we're always playing music. Yeah, it's just, yeah, that's what we do, right? It's a cool place. Um, these speakers, I, I don't even know what they are, but they are not going to take a lot of power. And, and we, we have a, a, a Sprout. I mean, this is an odd combo, right? You've got a direct stream DAC uh, and a Sprout. And so I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're playing around here. The point being, I would, if those are my home speakers, and if I were critically listening or using those to evaluate things on or to enjoy or to crank them up, I'd put as big an amp as I'm able to afford. I'd put an M1200 on this speaker if that's my goal. Uh, and, and, not, and the goal being not this giant sound, but to have the best possible sound I could. Why? Because of linearity. The bigger the amplifier, given that it's a well-designed amplifier, and not all amplifiers that are big sound good or are well-designed. In fact, most of them aren't. So you've got to be careful with who we're talking about. But I know PS Audio. I know what we do. And I can tell you that a big PS Audio amplifier sounds better than a smaller PS Audio amplifier. Uh, only because if they were identical in sound quality, the bigger one would be better because there's a larger sweet spot. And that sweet spot is the linear range of the amplifier where it's most comfortable at. And the larger that sweet spot is, and perhaps it encompasses this entire speaker's range, oh, perfect. And so what are the dangers? Why do people have maximum ratings? on speakers? Well, because the manufacturer wants to cover his ass. The manufacturer doesn't know what you're going to do with this thing. The manufacturer says, if you send this back in for warranty and the voice coils are melted, you put way too much power into it. And we're not going to warranty it. We told you, don't put any more than 100 watts in, right? Their, their butts are covered. But you're not going to do that. Because if you're going to put a thousand watts into this thing, long before it gets into trouble, you're going to hear it distort. It's going to be too loud. I mean, we're not morons, right? We're not. You wouldn't be watching this if you were. So if you're not going to do moronic things, uh, 
then you're perfectly safe because, and we've talked about this before, for a given volume level, if I'm playing this speaker at a reasonable level or even a, a slightly loud level, the number of watts it takes to get to that level is identical regardless of the size of the amplifier. So if this speaker plays loud at 100 watts, let's say 100 watts, I put 100 watts into this thing, it's going to play at a certain level. If I do that with a 1200 watt amplifier, or if I do that with a 120 watt amplifier, the watts are still 100 watts, and it doesn't matter if it's a 120 watt amp or a 10,000 watt amp, it doesn't matter. It's still 100 watts. The difference being, if I have a 100 watt amp and I'm playing 100 watts, I'm close to clipping, and it's not going to sound good, or I'm, you know, let's call it 120 watts. You're right at the tippy top there. If it's a 1200 watt amp, if it's a 700 or a 300 watt amp, you've got headroom. You have a broader sweet spot. So that 100 watts is going to sound a lot sweeter with a big amp than it does with a smaller amp, given a good designer did the amplifier design. Okay, hope that helps. Talk to you later. Bye.